Hey, hey, this is Metal Max coming at you from Super 8 and Portage. And you're probably wondering, what am I doing at a Super 8 in Portage? Well, it's very simple. It, I, I managed to run into these guys, a, a cool band out of the Green Bay area. Aberrate. Yeah, where did the name come from, guys? So, that started with uh, when I first put this together. Um, I had just left Daylight Riot. It was, it was uh, end of December, start of January. I left Daylight Riot, and um, I kind of just wanted to do something different. I really wanted to go back to playing bass. I was playing early guitar there. Um, I ended up, you know, doing this and I was like, well, try and come up with a name, you know, at the time. Um, it had been in the process for quite a while and then around like March, I was, look, I was just thinking, I was like, oh, Aberrate, you know, the definition for, you know, Aberrate is to more or less go against the norm. So to mm -hmm. die, basically to something, uh, Different than the norm, more or less, is the definition for Straight it. Straight from the path, yeah. or just, yep. just be like, you know, your own individual and and not follow the herd, basically, yeah. yeah. Being, being yourself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, some of the stuff we are playing was uh, yeah. different than what's going on here. So we are just like, ah, yeah, you know. We, we like don't want to be bound by necessarily, like, genre-defining things. Like, we have to play this certain, this a certain way or whatever. We kind of just want to play what we feel, if yeah. that makes sense. Um, we all really are on the same page with how we kind of approach music, both, you know. Yeah, we have a lot of different influences in, included, so I mean, when it comes to like the, the genres and stuff like that, we have like maybe six different genres that we play right now. Okay, at least. which kind of which kind of leads me into, uh, into the next question I gotta ask you guys. Sure. Now, I was, we were listening to your, uh, to your song, uh, Sonophobia, was Sonophobia? it? Sonophobia? Sonophobia, yep. yeah. yeah. I guess the question I gotta ask first of all about that is, what's the meaning of sonophobia? Well, this he came up with the name, but it basically is the fear of sleep. Yes. Um, and oh. the song is the song is about uh, getting possessed and then killing people in your sleep. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's kind of like it's like a fun. I mean, it's a fun song. Uh, but it's also got like darker meaning to it. But okay. it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like an upbeat song with you know darker lyrics. <laughs> and you mentioned like a lot of the uh, different uh, stuff yeah. you guys do. I yeah. mean, what I heard in there was like it was kind of hard to describe it. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of hard to compare it to any other bands that I've heard. Sure. Because uh, and that's what we're looking. That's what we're looking. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh well, that's <laughs> awesome. But yeah. I would say uh, it kind of has a bit of a heavy. More like heavy metal core. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that well, sound about right? We we saw that our I guess what our genre would be is melodic, melodic hardcore. Oh, all right. Like Parkway Drive and bands like that, where it's just like it's like not it's not pop metal. It's definitely metal, but it's got like uh, I don't know like an emo goth type vibe to it. But also we have new metal in there. We got oh, some black metal in there. Wow. We got some deathcore in there. We got okay. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. When you so, put it like that, I kind of. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, 18 Visions, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't heard of them in a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that. uh, That's awesome. Good stuff. They kind of got like a bit of a... They, they kind of bounced all over the sure. place, let's put it that way. Kind of like what you guys are doing now. Yeah. Now, is it possible that there's some clean singing in the future? There oh, is. There's, there's, there's quite a bit. There is some. And it's actually, in our next single, um, it's going to be called Marquesans, it's... Actually, a lot of more singing than, than screaming. Okay. But it's a good mixture of both. But still heavy nonetheless. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, mean, like, it's like you're singing, like, I don't know, Stone Sour, but then all of a sudden you're playing Whitechapel or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. But yeah, so, that. so yeah, we, we have a lot of different styles that we've included to, to basically, you know, say this is who we are. And uh, we're really happy with where it's going right now. Now, you guys, like, do a lot of original songs, but are yep. there any covers that you've always wanted to try? I have a pet project that I want to do, um, Possum Kingdom by the Toadies. Okay. Because that's a very, like, dark song, but also, like, a, a upscale, or not, like, upscale, uh, upbeat song. But then you listen to the lyrics, it's about a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Preserving the body the of, of, okay. of the chick that, yeah. Okay. So, like, I think that would be a really good, like, uh, doom metal or, like, um, hardcore metal like cover of that, like really like a Casey strain or something like that, like mm -hmm. something really heavy. But the lyrics are so dark that you can make them sound even you know darker. So that that's my pet project at some point. <laughs> but yeah. they got some ideas too. 
Give a, give a brief uh, description of how the band came together, how long you've been a band, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, that, I mean, Will, you can start it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been a wild ride. Um, so, initially it started, and it was something that, you know, I started thinking about in January. I kind of went from there, um, I'd say February, contacted you in like February or so, and then, Last year, yes. you know, yeah. we jammed a bit. And then we just stopped jamming, I guess. I don't even remember. <laughs> Something happened. We stopped jamming. I tried out like a bunch of other musicians, and then then it worked out with uh, whatever other drummer is. So I ended up contacting all again and being like, "Are you still down to still play?" You know. <laughs> and there was like March. I was like, "You still down to play?" I was like, "Okay." Um, it kind of just went, you know, went on until we found. Um, I think. I think you had joined, uh, you moved over here. I've known this guy for like 14 years. Wow. 14 years? 15 years? Yeah, they're both from California. Yeah, yeah, moved yeah, from California. Yeah. They're both yeah. from California. California. Yeah, well, there's so much behind that. But um, <laughs> he moved here, and I was just like, I think, no, that's what started. I was like, move here and play guitar for us. That's yeah. pretty much what it was. And he moved here, joined, which then, was probably probably for the better because we like to keep it smaller. We had a, uh, a vocalist briefly, oh. um, just things yeah. didn't work out with that, but yeah. uh, shortly afterwards uh, we found Roman and found this man. pretty much immediately well, he joined, like, things just took off. Oh yeah, yeah we, just, like, we, we basically were writing songs the first day. It was wow. the missing piece, really. Yeah. <laughs> it was like that, that puzzle piece. It always kind of takes the missing piece to really get a band functioning. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, so, so, is this the only song that you guys have recorded right now? Or yes. <laughs> but yeah, to get back to uh, the history, so Alan played in a band called A Coup de Gras, yeah. and I am very good friends with his former vocalist Joshua Everett's, and I was in a band called Praise the Fear like 10, 12 years ago, Ooh. and Josh was in Scofflaw, and we played shows together all the time, so then he was the vocalist with Alan's band, and so I actually played a show with a coup de grace with my last band when <laughs> Alan was the drummer. <laughs> so it's wow. all coming, it's all coming yeah, it's full been, circle. It's been a scene for a while. So. Yeah. Especially in Green Bay. Yeah, definitely. Let's, let's talk about Green Bay for just a second here. Um, go, we'll go, in, <laughs> go into a non-conventional question here. Sure. Would you guys consider yourselves major Green Bay Packer fans? <laughs> I am, definitely. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Um, I'm learning. I, I was I was I, into football, but I never like. Got I was sad that we through. lost by just basically a field goal. Like it could yep. have gone into overtime, and we could have definitely, I think, won the game. Oh, we for sure. Well, I I say to people all the time, you know, better luck next season for the yeah. pack. We'll be back. Yes, exactly. And better than ever. I completely agree. Yeah. I mean, if when you live in Wisconsin and especially Green Bay. Mm -hmm. You, it's the ultimate rule. I mean, you have to be a Packer fan. That's yeah. right. You gotta be a Green Bay Packer fan. Hey, maybe you guys could uh, do a little, do a little song for fun about the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, um, my band previous, uh, Praise the Fury. Every time, every time we had some time in between, we would do the da 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 da. Go back, go like at the show. Uh, <laughs> it got people going. Yeah, it was good. That's wow. wow, that's pretty awesome. We'll, yeah. have to learn well here's to here's, an, here's right. another quick question I gotta ask you guys. That's of major importance. Sure. McDonald's or Wendy's? Ooh, good question. All right, we'll we'll go clockwise. All right, me neither. Neither. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not much of a fast food person. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not big in fast food. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's chili, because the chili oh. is the best thing in the world. <laughs> I love it there. I mean, I'm going to say McDonald's because I love the chicken. It's like my favorite. Oh, All right, so we've got, we got two for either, <laughs> one for Wendy's and one for McDonald's. What did Santa get you guys for Christmas this past year? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you got nothing, huh? Not really. Were you a bad boy? No, I just I just decided, you know, I, I mean, I got myself a cat, like, Recently, so Aww, that's like I love cats. Yeah, that's, I have two cats now, and I, I I rescued that one, and I was like, you know, that's my that's my thing for myself, basically. You know what? That's that's good. Yeah. Go with that. Yeah, for sure. Let's find out like what you guys have coming up. I mean, obviously, you know, the people that are watching this, you know, when this gets posted up, will not be able to attend the show sure. tonight at three hundred one yeah, Productions, sure. but where else can they catch you guys? As I understand, I believe there's a Madison show. Yeah, it works. Yeah, in the so um, we're, at March 23rd, we're playing at the Crucible. Um, 
a lot of heavy hitters on that. I mean, Nightback's on there, Ghidorah's on there. There's there's a lot of good, you know, acts on that. I think we're like the 12th band or something like that. Okay. Um, Zeal yeah. dropped out, and we, we said, hey, if there's any dropouts, let us know. And Zeal dropped out, so we got we got the bill. So that's pretty awesome. And the rest is history. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, February 17th, we play at Misfits in Appleton. All right. Um, April 10th, we play at Pet Skull Brewery in Manitowoc on Wednesday night, which is going to be fun because it's like a... Uh, just a one band showcase thing, so that's gonna be really fun. Um, we're, we're doing that to hopefully get into the, the Manitowoc um, Metal Fest, which is in September. Well, I they think. got a Manitowoc Metal Fest. Yeah, right? last, yeah year's was, <laughs> last year's was fantastic. It was their first annual one. Huh. It was really, really good. Well, it's a good thing that you uh, that you mentioned it right here on AskMetalMax.com yeah. because uh, it's important that people know about all these different metal fests around Wisconsin. Right, and then this is a brand new one, so they, they did say it's going to be annual, so I'm really excited. And so hopefully awesome. we can get a good turnout on that Wednesday night and then be able to play for them at that time. I think it's very amazing that you find a lot of different uh, areas around Wisconsin that are starting to, Oh you my know, God, yeah, we're, we're you blowing know, up in Wisconsin. Now. Putting a lot There's of, so uh, many good bands. a lot more metal type shows. I mean, you've got Dime Bash and... Watertown, mm -hmm. you've yep. got uh, Project Mayhem and Rhinelander, yep. mm -hmm. and a, and you especially have uh, even have something like, I mean, even they brought back the Milwaukee Metal Fest. I know, yeah, that, that's and, something that maybe in the next couple of years we'll be able to jump And uh, we also like have the thing. Blades of Steel yep. show in um, in Madison done by Mr. Randy Kastner himself. Yep. And I mean, honestly, you know, if you go all around Wisconsin, the Midwest in general. There's bound to be more and more metal type shows popping up, especially oh, yeah. in like uh, areas that you wouldn't normally find them. Right, right. We got, we got like Farmageddon, we got Slamoween. Yeah, we got Farmageddon and Slamoween. Uh, Farmageddon's at the Bratislava in Kukana, and that's been going on for the past like, I, I'm not sure, but like four years now, where they're doing it like every month now. Um, and so let's have, not, oh, go on. They have um, four, four shows a year from July, June to August. September. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, yeah. don't forget you got 301 Production Studios here in Portage. Yes. Which I think Studio we're going to we're going to we're going to check out. Yep. And uh, you know, see what the place is like. Yeah, the place is really awesome. Um, it's great. <laughs> it's it's definitely like a I mean, it's it's a metal bar to me, but they have like comedy, they have all sorts of stuff throughout the week. Mm -hmm. It's they they're really blowing up and it's a really great venue. I think that's what could definitely put Portage when it comes to like, you know, more and more music scenes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, they play so, blues music too. Oh, oh yeah. So we're we're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're we're basically on Apple YouTube. Music no, too. Don't forget Apple that. Apple Music. Yeah, we're on, yeah, on, on our Facebook too to find like streams. We do streaming. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, we do a lot of streaming. So there's Twitch as well. So yep. our um, tonight and for most of our shows we do live streams. Um, basically off of our Twitch. Our Twitch is uh, twitch.com slash aberrate, A-B-E-R-R-A-T-E, and I'm W-I. And that's, okay. um, you can catch us on there. Well, well, thanks again, guys. This is this was an honor. Um, us too. You know, finding yeah. out, yeah. you know, getting people exposed to an awesome new band. Well, this is what MetalMax.website is all about, you know, trying to break new and exciting bands as well as, like, you know, Checking out the legends. Yeah, for and sure. Madison has a couple of legends. Oh yeah, they and definitely do. Definitely. Last crack being one of them. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, you know. So before we go, let's uh, let's you know say exactly who you are and uh, what you do, and uh, we'll go from there. Right on. I am. Well, I play bass. I do a lot of uh, recording, producing, everything else for the band. So yeah, that's me. That's me. Uh, <laughs> I'm Robert. I do guitar. Um, I do a lot of the instrumental songwriting stuff, at least with our current songs. Um, but we are all kind of putting in our input and making cool stuff. Yeah. I'm Alan. I play drums. I'm just the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> ideas. I come up with some good ideas sometimes. Oh, yeah. And definitely. they say nobody loves the drummer. Uh, no, wait. They say true. nobody loves the bassist. The drummer is the soul of the band, too. Okay. Um, I'm Roman. I'm the vocalist. Uh, I do all the lyrics. Um, I do all the vocals right now, but we're going to have some backup from Robert and from Will from, at some point. But right now, I'm, I'm doing all the vocals and, and, and writing the lyrics. So. Awesome. Well,. I want to, once again, thanks, you guys. Thanks again, guys. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>
And thank you, Super 8. Awesome stuff. All right.